Hi friends, so every day I receive a newsletter and work and it's from Abel Abraham and especially from Easter and Jerry Hicks, even so Jerry has no us and it says 3D life anymore. So and last week I find it was a good one and somehow I should put them all in a uh, or awaken and I will read it to you. It's really a good thing. So quote If we were talking to you on your first day here we would say Welcome to planet Earth. There's nothing that you cannot be or do or have and your work here, your lifetime career, is to seek joy. As you think thoughts that feel good to you, you will be in harmony with say, who you really are. And in doing so, you will utilize your profound freedom. Seek joy first. And all of the growth that you could ever imagine will come joyously and abundantly unto you. Close quote. And it's somehow uplifting every time I have read those lines every day. And then another thought comes to me. And the thought was why can people not be happy? Why some people are and others some not? You know, uh, for instance, for instance, sorry. I have a drama, so uh, with tantra with sticks, and so I bubble around. So, for instance, when you have two friends, and all both of your friends are very clever, smart ones, you know, you will mostly see that one of them has at success in life and the other don't have success in life. Even so one is happy, usually the one with success and the other not, you know. And I always wondered about that. And even so I'm no silly one, you know, but I'm also wasn't happy, you know, because of my life history of course. Uh, because somehow when it's start is not so good, uh, people don't try to be happy, you know. But then as I was, as I was chief, chief editor of a television channel and then I had a very smart volunteer and he became a friend, but he said to me uh, about uh, another editor who worked for us only at the weekends when we had to make our weekend news, you know. And so the, the staff who always worked during the weeks uh, had free on weekend and so we had another editors. And there was a rather pretty woman, you know, and she was very smart and very kind, nice person, you know. But my friend said to me, there, where she is starting, we will never get to that point. And first I said, hey, why should we never get to, uh, get to that point? But he was right. Because for her, she lived already, all her life, kind of chat set, you know chats at life and this continued later and where on the other hand we were fighting to get to some position and then we usually can lose it not because of personal faults but because of some things we attract and so as a channel lost the license because of internal work uh, between the CEOs, you know, when we had a 
uh, a handful of seals and so they do and, and <laughs> they crashed the, the television channel, you know. And so it was a hard time to get to and again to the feet, you know, to one's feet. Because was there were always high qualified people but uh, uh that's another story. If I said but you were right. Because we never can achieve it seems at this point where this lady was starting because she took this for granted, you know. She took all for granted and other people don't take it for granted. And most of the people live just for a dream, you know. People are waiting that their dreams are fulfilled and in this waiting the doubts appear, you know, and then the dreams some don't get fulfilled. And I have another good quote from a good friend of mine and let me read it to you. And this quote is three years, it's from another video which I once did. Uh, it was waiting for Jesus. But my friend wrote, and she also was right with that. If we just stay in our now moment, we are fine. When we go into the past and the future like that, we mess up. They are not even real, these things. Time is not like that. Not that you didn't exist. Time just does work, doesn't work the way we think. This waiting is off base. When we live for the future, we don't give full reverence to the now. We aren't really living. We are just waiting. So we are just waiting when we wait that some dreams could be fulfilled, you know. When we are just chasing our dreams. We are not really living. And that's quite interesting. And I guess also we only can be happy and satisfied with our life when we live in the now. Not for a future event, not for, for any degree, for money, for any job. Because those events are in the future, but our joy is in the now, you know. And as long as we try only to attract things, but don't find our joy in the now, in the present moment, what we are doing, then we will never find it. Because this is a rather strange thing, even when we would uh, get to the point where we can realize something, the way was too hard to reach it and so we again have no joy and also we have new targets to chase and so there's always a lack of joy. So the key to joy is to live in the now and enjoy the present moment. And that's all for tonight. I wish you a wonderful week. Namaste.